Acid versus Base Brought to you by my book of chemistry with Dr. Y. The word acid comes from the Latin word acir, which means sour. Tangy and sour taste in lemons come from the acidic nature. In chemistry, an acid is a substance that donates hydrogen ions or protons when it dissolves in water. The strength of an acid depends on its tendency to lose a proton. A strong acid is the one that completely dissociates in water. A weak acid partially dissociates in water. An acid is corrosive. Strong acids can even dissolve metals. Did you know that the vitamin C is also an acid called ascorbic acid? That's why it tastes so sour when you bite a vitamin C tablet. A base, on the other hand, is a chemical that tastes bitter. A base is the substance that releases hydroxide ions when it dissolves in water. Baking soda, commonly used to bake cakes and cookies, is a base. If you try to taste baking soda, you'll see that it's very bitter. If you rub it between your fingers, you'll find that it has a strange, soapy feeling. This is all due to its basic nature. A strong, acidic solution can have 100 trillion times more hydrogen ions than a strong, basic solution. In order to deal with these large numbers more easily, scientists use a logarithmic scale called the pH scale to measure acidity or basicity. pH is the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration. In the pH scale, each one unit change corresponds to a tenfold change in hydrogen ion concentration. Using this pH scale, a substance is acidic if it has a pH level between 0 and 7, where 0 is the most acidic. A substance is basic if it has pH level between 7 and 14, where 14 is the most basic. If a substance has a pH of exactly 7, then it's neutral. This means that it has equal amounts of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. Pure water is a neutral substance. We can easily find out a rough value of pH using pH strips. Now let's test the pH of common items that can be found in the household. Where do we find acids and bases in nature? Some ants produce a spray of formic acid from their abdomens as a defense mechanism. Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, contains the genetic information which is transferred from one generation to another. Our bodies use acids and bases too. Amino acids are of great importance in making proteins. Fatty acids are groups of carboxylic acids that play a significant role in cell membranes. Our stomachs use hydrochloric acid to help digest our food. This strong acid also kills bacteria and helps to keep us from getting sick. Our muscles also produce what's called lactic acid when we exercise. Science and technology makes good use of acids and bases. Car batteries, for example, use a strong acid called sulfuric acid as an electrolyte. So when the battery discharges, sulfuric acid reacts with the lead plates, making lead sulfate. The reaction is reversed when the battery recharges. Magnesium hydroxide is used as an antacid to reduce stomach acid, heartburns. It is also used as laxatives to relieve occasional constipation. Sodium carbonate is used as washing soda to remove stubborn stains from laundry and for softening the hard water. Sodium bicarbonate, commonly known as baking soda, is used in Class C fire extinguishers as well as household cleaning and baking. Acids and bases are everywhere, right from the soaps we use during the shower to the citric acid 
for vinegar present in our kitchen. However, never ever handle acids or bases in a chemistry lab unless supervised by your teacher. They can be very dangerous and can burn your skin or even worse. Well, that's it for today. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.